what are the best bodyweight bicep exercises. This series is about teaching you the nine most effective bodyweight bicep exercises for those superhero biceps. Stick around to find out more. Hey, it's Oscar Fongo Primate here, and in part 3 of this series, we're gonna go through single ring chin ups. Single ring chin ups are, in my opinion, one of the best bicep exercises available. So, we're gonna be using a supinated grip here with our hands very close to each other, making it very bicep focused. Now, as it is a compound movement, you will of course recruit other muscle groups, so it will still very heavily target the lats as well. Now, the main things you want to focus on when doing single ring chin ups are the following. First, you want to grab the ring with a supinated grip, so the palms are going to be facing towards you. And supinated, you can also think about it as soup, so you're drinking soup like that. So, supinated, palms facing up or palms facing towards you. Now, you're going to be pulling your shoulder blades halfway down, so not all the way down, but halfway down. And this way, your chest is going to rise up a little bit. Now, you're going to focus on pulling with your elbows all the way up so that the ring is slightly touching the upper part of your chest. Have a short squeeze at the top and then lower yourself in a controlled manner. Now, when it comes to the shoulder retraction, you actually have two options here. The first one is that you pull the shoulder blades halfway down and then keep that position the whole time. So throughout the entire set, you're going to be keeping your shoulder blades in that same position. The other option is that you start from a passive hang and then contract to a active hang in between every repetition. So either one, whichever you feel comfortable with, you go with that. But I give you a tip here. Uh, usually people have struggle with their shoulder health or maybe have hypermobile joints or hypermobile shoulders. They might prefer to do this by maintaining that shoulder position the whole time. So instead of going to a passive hang, you just maintain those shoulders the same position the whole time because in a way, this actually protects your shoulders. Now, the really cool thing with single ring chin-ups is that you can very easily perform this leg assisted. And the cool thing with performing this leg assisted is that they allow you to very accurately in the moment adjust the difficulty of the resistance that you're pulling against. So you can very easily choose a resistance that allows you to perform the amount of repetition that you want to perform. The other cool thing with performing this leg assisted is that they allow you to perform your repetitions with a very clear mind muscle connection and that is very beneficial and actually very important when it comes to hypertrophy training so when it comes to building muscle mass so mind muscle connection is going to be something you want to really focus on especially if you're going for mass or building bigger muscles so i would recommend here a tempo of 3011 if you're able to do that that's usually a really good tempo for building mass when it comes to any type of pulling exercise so that includes a short squeeze at the top of the movement and at the top of the movement really actively squeeze your biceps really contract those biceps and squeeze them mindfully to get the best out of every single repetition. For this, I would recommend that you keep the repetitions quite low, so around 8 to 10 repetitions here to failure, um, and you leave the more high repetitions for isolating exercises. So 8 to 10 repetitions with a 60 to 90 second rest in between sets with a 3-0-1-1 tempo is usually the best way to get the most out of single ring chin-ups. And just a quick bonus tip here for you. So if you're someone who's working for mass, so for hypertrophy, then here's something you can do in between your sets. In between your sets, when you're resting, flex your biceps. So you might feel like a douchebag and you might even look like one, but doesn't matter. This is actually very beneficial for hypertrophy gain. So again, in between your sets, you're gonna be flexing your muscles, the muscles you'll be working. So in this case, if you're targeting the biceps, keep flexing those biceps in between your sets, pump up more blood in there. Now, this will reduce your performance, so it's not good if you want to lift as heavy as you can or do as much repetition as you want, so your, your performance is going to go down, but when it comes to building bigger muscles, this is a good technique to um, do in between your sets. If you want to see more detailed videos of the 9 best bodyweight bicep exercises, then feel free to continue on the series to find out how to perform the rest of the exercises for best results. That is it for this video guys, I hope you liked the video, if you found it useful then please leave the video a like, it's highly appreciated, and subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to optimize your bodyweight, ring and at home fitness training. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video, bye bye.